As one legal battle heads towards an end, another is just getting started. Disgrace Dr. Larry Nasser is expected to be sentenced today after a week of compelling and oftentimes heartbreaking testimony. John Shumo joins us now live from New York. So, John, tell us about the punishment Nasser's facing and wrap up all of the testimony being considered before today's sentencing. Yeah, prosecutors are seeking at least 40 years in prison. Larry Nasser pleaded guilty to assaulting seven women. Remember last year, he started serving a 60 year sentence in federal prison for child pornography crimes. So he's basically spending the rest of his life behind bars. The judge in this case will consider six days of emotional testimony before handing down her sentence. And when court resumes at 9 a.m., there will be three more victim impact statements. More than 150 women have come forward to detail abuse by the former. Doctor from Michigan State University Athletics and USA Gymnastics. Uh, one of the more dramatic moments came when Emily Morales testified and she demanded an apology for his sexual abuse. And Nasser said in, in a very low voice, I'm sorry. And John, this case obviously far from over. Now the investigation into his former employer, Michigan State, is underway. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, the NCAA is looking into how Michigan State University handled this case. Uh, wants to know if MSU violated NCAA rules by possibly protecting Nasser and not acting properly on some 125 complaints. The school denies any wrongdoing, but during the testimony, the victims named names. They called out adults who looked the other way, and we've already seen uh, several resignations from high-ranking officials at the center of this case. Russ and Karen. John Schumo reporting live from New York. Thank you very much, John.